Yo, what's up, guys? Axi Fox Ninja here, and we are back with another video. And welcome to another episode of, or another let's play of the Boss, the Jacksepticeye fan game. If you, if this is your first time watching my series on it, yeah. Also, if this is your first time watching your series, I mean, watching this series. <sighs> this is your first time watching an episode of this series, and please go back to the beginning so that way you don't miss, you aren't all confused. Those, mer those merchants made me really glad I've got Sans here instead of them. He's still easy to try and kill me. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I can uh, do that. Oh, it's, uh... Papers, please. Okay, Potato Man, just let me into my room. Very bold move, trying to enter your own room. Your room with such confidence, but I still can't let you in. I think this might be revenge for all the times you denied him access to glory greatest country. But he was always my favorite. Come back with passport, entry ticket, and vaccination records. Never thought this guy would be such a stickler for the rules! Before you go, take this. A potato? You need food for your journey. Okay, but a potato <laughs> is vitally important. Glory, glory to arts, 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 <laughs> bleh. Guess we're not going to get a sufficient explanation. Yeah, we got a potato. I Ireland's famous food, I don't know. Don't judge me. Oh, hey, it's Hapsplug. Oh, hello. Hi, Hapsplug, how are you holding up? Okay, I guess, I've been here for a while now. Sorry to hear. It's not so bad. It's a little rough standing behind a couple, though. Kinda feels lonely. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd give you a hug, but I'm afraid I'd phase right through you. Oh, you... You'd give me a hug if you could? Of course. I can't help but want to cheer you up. You always stood out to me as someone who could, who would, who could use affection. I, I can't believe you care about me like that. I'm taking Undyne's advice and practicing to the hilt, so I'm cherishing you the best I can. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I see you weighing in line like everyone else, Phil. Ah, oh, Phil Electry. Kind of had to do a stand said he wouldn't serve cutters. So I've been standing here for two hours straight listening to some conversation further ahead about crimes committed o over chocolate. Sounds like Kara, but that's still an odd topic. It was either that or overhear someone's experience about getting their hair permed. Boring. I don't know. They're smiley. Hi, Jack. How's Wyland so far? It's great. I mean, when things are enough to kill me or imprison me forever. I love it. So glad. I think Wyland is the best. Thanks so much for playing my game so I get to live here. Oh, you're welcome, Smiley. You and Phil are really cute together. Glad you fished off your series. Huh. I've... Now I'm worried about the games I've played. Hmm, and if I had, like, my own personal Wyland. So glad you think so. Well, let me know if you need any help or have any questions about Wyland and how it works because I always like helping new people. Keep that in mind. I like this, Smiley. Thanks. You seem kind of tense. What's up? I saw a zombie up there. Who, the guy with the fungus on his face? Oh, is that what it is? I guess I was just confused. Hearts are alive. People who have huge fungi growing on their head usually aren't alive. Yeah, it's a goo. Is that Doctor Dad? Hey. Your flies down, man. <laughs> Fix it. Also, I can't put my finger on it, but you seem pretty different today. No, no, I'll figure it out. Something's definitely different. On second thought, I don't want to chat with you, this gentleman. You have something against our game characters, Jack? Billy, in case you haven't noticed, he's an infectious zombie. He's not letting that song from living a full life now, is he? Full on death, more like. <laughs> hey, Evie, what are you doing in line? I am standing. Hey, why don't you give me any hints in the last area? You weren't there. But I just asked you why you weren't there. Yes, I was. We have been talking for a while. I literally just stopped to say hi. What do you want me to tell you about Greek mythology? I think I didn't ask about Greek mythology. What about Greek mythology? I don't know, Evie, you brought it up. No, I didn't. You did. All I've talked about. All I've talked about what? Are you sure? I think we talked about you. So I'm a Greek god now? Well, I have exotic hazel eyes. Don't use them to wink at me! Okay, I'm done talking to you now. That makes me sad. Deal with it. What if I don't want to? Well, then I don't know what to do, tell you because I'm leaving. That's okay, what do you think they will do to me? Hopefully horrible torture so you understand the horrible torture you put me through every time we talk. 
this focuses while talking with Edie. It's like arguing with a brick wall. <laughs> yep. Big B, hey, you keeping an eye out for trouble? Nope. Out of the game, off duty. Nice to be able to just breathe every now and then without having to knock a few schools around. What the heck was that? Son of a biscuit. So I've got to be somewhere. So I've got somewhere to be once I get through this gold dump line. Probably. Oh, Jack, it's good to see you again. I see you too, May. This is technically my house. So it kind of goes hand in hand with seeing me. The house is very nice, but it kind of looks like it's under attack. Hang in there, though. Your home is worth fighting for. Yes, it is. I feel like you're losing this one, though. Undone. Fires are a bit practically obstructed force of nature. See, it's harder to do Billy now since my voice is more deeper. Because when I first started off the series, my voice was, like, really low and then I took a big break and then it's puberty and stuff. And it's an argue. Nice. Batman. You don't say much, do you? And now, I guess you have to protect your secret identity. So, uh, how exactly are you paying, then? I have a credit card. <laughs> Did you guys just hear gunshots? Yeah, sounds like someone outside is screaming his head off. wonder what his deal is. Oof. Hey, Alex, remember me? Yeah, but mainly because I saw you earlier today. You brought someone new. Wait, who's Dith? Hey, Alex, I totally played your game. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have as much time for games, so I usually watch Jack play stuff. I know, I need to catch up with all this, but I got Oxen free on my own after he played it. Too good to resist. So I guess there's an Ox on in your computer, too. Awesome, I hope I get a meter sometime. Oh yeah, it's interesting. Hello again. Hey Jonas, get... It's a cool sci-fi time travel shenanigans while we were gone. Not really, but we've been standing here in line mostly. Oh. You realize that... You realize that we all have lives outside our games, don't you? I realize that now, but earlier I... I'd have found that statement questionable. We'll let you know if we decide to do something cool and sciencey. Thanks. Nice. Segway, Steve. Steve, buddy. Jack, my man. Hey, Steve. Thanks for giving me so much personality, Jack. No problem. Hey, frisk. Jack, your bathroom is amazing. I'm kind of relieved to see a toilet here. I'm not gonna lie, it does make life a lot, a whole lot easier. Frisk certainly talks a lot more than they thought they would. Alright, the monsters in the underground don't have any bathrooms, right? No, they have bathrooms, alright. But they're literally just a bath in a room, maybe with a sink. Except half the time I can't reach it, especially papyruses. <laughs> and thank goodness, monster ener monster food converts to energy when you eat it, because I didn't want to have to go in the woods. I wouldn't either. In, like, the S Snowden Forest woods? Hi, Jack. Your lack of chocolate in this house is disturbing. The cake on the ki ch kitchen counter is chocolate. No, I mean chocolate, chocolate. Also, I can't find the knives. Pretty sure Undyne and Fires have something to do with that, and for once, I'm grateful to them. Yeah. I'm looking into video videography, and you have some great cameras. Look, Max, I appreciate you trying to improve your art, but these are my cameras. <laughs> They're not going to be yours forever, just saying. There's all kinds of foreboding in that last statement. Just saying. This place got here, when it's not singed. Hey, I had to fire my new interior <laughs> two new interior decorators. Come think about it, I never even hired them in the first place. Huh, <laughs> funny you should say fire. No, don't! <laughs> Here we have a goo. More goo. Been waiting that long? Oh, yeah, you don't talk. Well, I'll let you get back to your waiting. Fair enough. Mark, you hear about something? Hey, Mark. Yeah, but it's not really something physical as much as something intangible. I'm here with my friend to take advantage of one of Sans' lesser known services, consulting. Consulting? For what? He doesn't really seem he doesn't really seem the best source of advice. He's a master of pranks. He's gotta have some good video he's gotta have he's gotta have some good ideas for my next challenge video. That's true. I suppose you call this a goo? Looks like a goo to me. You have to call on every goo we find! Yes, I goo. Jack, help! He's worse than you! Wow, bad puns are worse than causing your death many times over? His transgressions are fresher! Okay, this kid can't be nine years old. There's no way. Yeah, especially with that voice. I don't know if I'm comfortable with you burning my possessions, come to think of it. But that spoils all the fun! Mono still isn't here yet? She's just running late. She'll get here. Keep an eye out. Anyway, you two deserve to be united, even if it's outside the game. Hi again. Hey, how's Trico doing? I don't know how to pronounce these things. Tell him he can say as long as he wants. Oh well. Right. Hey Thomas. 
Why are there so many games I have played? Oh, there's Golden Freddy up there. And Tam, okay. So I'm still being outside your game, giving you a break from the nightmares. It is, thanks. But remember, I'm just an actor in the game. Which is, I don't like the nightmares. They're part of my job. Alright. And the disputes. <coughs> really, Jack? You wanted to talk to me so much? You walked all the way around the line? That's dedicated. Well, you're my friend, aren't you? Yeah, but we did see each other earlier. You don't have to act so clingy. Clingy. Flat. I'm restricting your cookie rations. You fiend! Oh, I love these. Oh, Sans is in the hoodie. And I need some water. Yeah, I'll go grab some one sec. So the cool thing about this is I'm seeing all these uh, Undertale characters. When Jax, um, he uh, posted his uh, Let's Play on Delta Rune today, which, that was pretty nice. So I enjoyed watching that. And once you've done a bit more work on my bathroom, you might want to catch MTTV tonight at 9. New show about interior decorating. Hey, Sans. You sure make a lot of friends in a short amount of time. Am I really your friend already? All my subscribers are my friends. Heck yeah, Jack. Whoosh! At least I like to think so. Oh. Now I'm depressed. Guess I'm still child liver. I'm withholding judgment on you. Well, I'm still here and I've still got a business to run. You want to buy a thing? Something Byrie bought most of this stuff already. It'd just be repetitive. Repetition is the key to success, you know. Success for what in this case? In this case, me. Well, I thought that was obvious. <laughs> oh boy. What is he doing here? I'm selling him. Seriously? <laughs> of course, he just kind of sits there. So, hiring him's a no. That's lazier than me. Kinda hard to beat you at being lazy. Hey, I get up and walk around at least. That's fair. Nugget! Hey Nugget, how are you doing? Nugget is feeling marginally better than last we saw each other. Well that's good, what's making you feel better? This artwork is soothing to Nugget's soul. It makes his problem seem inf infinite, infinitesimal. Art will do that. The colors, they are mesmerizing. Nugget feels a sense of calm. Also, as it happens, Sans has a satisfactory large stock of Nuggets. And he has already earned Nugget's friendship and trust. Okay, say so the kid speaks to me. You want, you want, Sans? No more talking. Nugget must it restore his inner balance. Shoot. Yeah, Kindergarten I have seen from Jack's Let's Plays. Though I need to see a bit more. I'm glad I have seen Night in the Woods, though. Otherwise, I'd be missing out on a lot. Hello again, Jack. Hello again, Toriel. What brings you to this portion of the house? Can a man want to visit his own kitchen? Well, I do not see why not. However, I am afraid that the kitchen is in a state not suitable for... Human eyes. Does that mean what I think it means? Yes, for the sake of your mental health, I am forbidding you from stepping foot into this kitchen until further knows. Time to call my insurance, I guess. Well, at least it's not your normal house. It's your inner house, I guess. I don't know. I like that lamp jacket. It's an interesting shape. Thanks, I got that at a garage sale. Total steal at one euro. I mean, it doesn't turn on or anything, but it's a nice decoration piece. Shoot. The clock hasn't moved. The only time that matters here is playtime. The more you get, the more alive you are. The more alive you are, the happier you are. No wonder you're, all, you're so chipper all the time. <laughs> Merchants made me... Oh, yeah. Yep. I reread that. Okay, so let's see here. We have Potato Man and then... May? <laughs> oh, I remember this one. Too bad you didn't get hit on the head by a flying golf ball going at a million miles an hour. Too bad you didn't get eaten by a velociraptor after getting your eye poked out by a lemur. Too bad the surgeon sim Too bad the surgeon simulator didn't take your eyes out and put them where your spleen is. Too bad you actually made it to the final station. I got one. It's gonna be really good. Okay. Okay. Too bad Cruella. Cruella Deville did see you and then send her henchman after you to beat you over the head so she could take your skin. Can make your skin the coats. Too far. Too bad Freddy didn't rip your head off. Too soon. <laughs> Dang it, my voice went too high on that one. <laughs> but oh, oh, maze ear twitch. That was cute. Um. So, anyways, something I was gonna say. Uh, uh, crap, I forgot. But yeah, I remember that in his let's play how he kept trying. But he did good. They're back. Too bad. I guess we have to get rid of all these sticks. But they brass extra limbs on the person. 
We can poke them all with sticks. Ow! Stop it! <laughs> my... Okay, my Billy is either hitting puberty or reverse pu puberty, and I can't tell which, which scares me. So, Angus, do you have any advice? Don't act like May and Greg when they're together. Um, okay, anything else? Don't die. You guys have a lot of confidence in us, don't you? I mean it in the best possible, best way possible. We would miss you there here. Aww. I'd prefer if you didn't hug me. Wasn't going to. Thank you for respecting my personal boundaries. I don't know. <clears throat> Angus Count sounds like my sans now. I see you brought an extra person. Yep. Hey, B. Hey. So technically, Glee took our advice and picked up some more limbs. We'll have to remember that you take things more literally than we intended. I decided I like four better than three. The more the merrier when Billy's part of the party. More is also better when you're being chased by zombies. You can just trip one and still have two left over. Is that right? You really think of us, B? I'd be lying if I said it didn't go through my mind. So Who would you kill first? <laughs> I'd start with the loudest, so in your party, the purple one would be the survivor. Wait, the purple... Oh, in our party. So, so the pre so the person you work hardest to save us for would be Angus. It's not personal; it's just self-preservation. You and Greg would attract the horde. <laughs> I mean, not wrong again. Whoa. Are you all? Are you all me? About fission time, you figure that out. You fizzing dimple. Is that Billy? This f filtering computer just censor me? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen! Billy, how'd you come back to life? <laughs> this is... <laughs> what? Step away from the Billy! This is the best moment of my life. Chuck, you're a lovely person, but I think one of you is more than enough. Yeah, I think I agree. Huh. So, what are you? So we ran into your games, merchants! Mind telling us what they were doing loose in cluster trucks? If you think I can exert any amount of control over them, you got another thing coming. Well, they didn't drop me into a pit of lava. <laughs> They're out of control. Uh, my control, Jack, but you're interested? I can try to talk to my own Billy about not bugging you. Wasn't he dead? Yes, that's why I can control him. It's easy to tell a corpse not to do something. I remember you, the snarky Jack. Someone has to be. You're like the coolest version of me. It's so awesome to be able to talk to you. No, man. This is cooler than the real thing. Although you are a bit of a letdown. You and I know that Billy is the enemy. You saw what he did to all her friends in my game. Don't bring me this. Your Billy was a psychopath. I didn't infect anyone. Still, so I'd be careful if I were you, Jack. Keep a close eye on Billy. He might still prove his latent evilness. Already on it, man. <laughs> no, my game's... Ha, huh, my game's plot actually came true. Yeah. Huh, yeah, you're right, I'm stuck in my computer, just like you were. Wait, does that mean you never escaped? I mean, technically I always lived in your computer, so I escaped the computer within the computer. Here we go again! Wait, so which one's the septic escape one? What the fizz are you doing talking to me? Jeez, you're a bit explosive. Of course I'm explosive, I'm being fabricating... I'm being fabricating censored by your computer, all because of this little apple bag. I think I'm glad for the censors with this guy. What the fawn did you just say to me? Yeah, he's got a reason. If he even installed it, Sheen probably didn't want me learning from him. Well, uh, nice to meet you, Jack, to the future, Jack. <coughs> Listen, Jack, if you need my help, I'll help you in any way I can. The community already saved me once. I won't let them suffer in the computer if I can help it. I'm not sure they're suffering. Not exactly. In fact, it's probably more like being asleep, I'm assuming. Yes, but even so, they need to be free, and also, you're really lucky you're not my Billy. I'm getting such warm welcomes from all your cum from all of your counterparts. We're always happy to support you, Jack. Weren't you called Sean in your game? Oh yeah, well, we're here, right here supporting you, Sean. Thanks, keep being a boss, Jack. Nice. So, how's Papyrus doing? We've been busy while you're gone. How so? We are teaching ourselves how to make baked Alaska. Why do they call it a dessert you can set on fire baked Alaska? Why not baked Arizona? 
Arizona. That's much hotter. Now we have a new project, creating baked Arizona. My kitchen may never recover. Hey, so ceilings are really overrated. You should just ignore them whenever you see them. Subtle. Sub subtle. So, how are you guys doing? Where have you been? Looks like all of your limbs are intact, so it couldn't have been that too bad. Horror games. Plural. Wow, and you're still alive? Barely. Fair enough. But undying is a huge problem. Don't be ridiculous. You've seen horror movies. Nobody ever looks up. <laughs> did you... Did you not see Jack and his friends standing right here listening to, to, to your entire conversation? Uh, whatever you do, don't look up, Jack. Just don't. Why not? You'll die. And it'll be horrible. We wouldn't want that. We wouldn't want that. Would we, Papyrus? We really, really wouldn't want it to happen to our dear, merciful friend. Here's the key, Alf Alfie's. I guess I can call her Alphys in this one, considering Jack called her Alphys, so... Thank you. I really hope finding it this time wasn't as bad as it was last time. Well, it depends on who you ask. I'd take the first one again in a heartbeat! See? A and you brought a friend. Alphys! Uh, y yeah I love you. <laughs> Thank you, I I think. And I'm dying in Papyrus. I love you too. And I ship you too so hard. Oh, um, okay. What? What? You too? Both of you? I'm really lost right now. I'm dying in Papyrus or the OTP. I've never met anyone who ships them other than myself. Me neither. Oh, I'm sorry. That's probably rude to say in front of you too. Your computer is your story. Tell it however you want. Cool to know. That means Alphys, Alphys and I have someone to double date with, even if that someone includes our version of me. Uh, uh, oh, y yeah, that sounds like a fun date. I know what you're thinking. Get back in the trash, Alphys. Alphys. The I never left. Oh, that's sad. I think it's kind of weird to pair up people you know in person, even if you only just met them today. So you're saying you wouldn't go out with Franbo? Oh, what? No! Shut up! <laughs> I think I have a new OTP. So, um, the next key? Well, you guys are doing g great so far. We just need that one last hydrospersion key. You still can't get the firewall down? No, it seems to have mutated. Whoever this boss is there... Whoever this boss is did their homework. I can't do a thing to it. Lynn, what's more dangerous field to what will we be facing this time? Also, when they make their sequel, A Glitch in the System, I don't know if they'll include Deltarune, unfortunately. If they have anything after that, I, I'd be really appreciated if they added Deltarune, but yeah. I can't tell. Whatever it is seems to have a looping signature to it. Other than that, I can't get a good read on it. Best to be prepared for anything it might throw your way. Looping signature? Seems to, to be a to be a game that resets itself a lot. I wonder what ga what that could be. We won't know until we find out. Hopefully, it doesn't reset itself because we die all the time. Well, thanks for your help, Alf Alphas. Now on we're team. Wait, no, not team. Gang comrades. Posse. Uh, ooh, or posse the guy. I don't know. I like that. Okay, Posseptigai, let's roll out. Okay, that, that's that's okay. See, it's weird calling her Alphys now, but at the same time, it's weird calling her Alphys, though, too. Okay, so. So let's roll out. Uh-oh. This is the story of a man. No! company in a big building where he was employee number four. The one I have. Employee number do, okay, I know about this one, but I've never seen it. And he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, when to push them, and in what order. This is what employee number 427 did. Wait, hold on a moment. Cut the music. You're not Stanley. Who the hell are you? Why are there four of you? When did I ever indicate that this was a multiplayer game? Not here. Not there. I specifically. Ah, damn it. Fine. 
This is very slow, by the way. Um, I'm Jack. 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 Oh no, 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 no! I can't. I can't call you Jack. Jack's a rubbish name. Jack is not a hero's name. Why are you talking about the Sword of Summer? Magnus Chase is called Jack, so I don't know. Jack is the name of a man who slaughtered streetwalkers in 19th century London. What? Jack is the name of a financially challenged boy who disobeys his mother, climbs a beanstalk, and steals from a giant. That's fair. Jack is not a hero. Wow. I mean, I sometimes, I mean, sometimes I go by Sean. Sean. Sean, Sean, I could live with a name like Sean, but Jack? I will find a more suitable name for the protagonist of this event. You are not Stanley. And I'm not saying you're not Stanley. I'm saying you are... Stanley's Stanley. a boring name, though. Parentheses. With a hyphen in between. No offense to anyone named Stanley, but it's just... Not someone who'd be called a hero. Jack is more of a hero name, in my opinion. Oh, forget this. Let's just go through a stupid door. Well said, Billy. Let's keep going on with this. It's a computer. Well, Spawn Dragon here, I thought I was a flamingo. Actually, it's Veil vale and Magic of 2000. The, the, I don't know. Looks like they've got the latest biosensor hardware and everything. It's a good model. Fair enough. Okay, I'm not going to read all this in here. We should climb into this one. Oh, why? Because then you'd be a jack-in-the-box. Hey! Seriously, can we leave him here? In the box? Oh, come on, that one was good. Even Jenny laughed. It was a pity laugh! I mean, I don't know. I was, was going to refer to you as not Stanley and the Three Bears, but in the efforts to avoid confusion, I think we should rename you all. What? Not Stanley, Stanley Jr., Mariella, and you... Mm, I think you should be called Finn. You rather look like a bit to me. Stanley Jr. <laughs> Not a word. Yeah, wait. Wait, Finn? Like from Star Wars? <laughs> I don't know. You smell anything coming out of this room or is it just me? Smells like Chinese food. Smells more like it. Vietnamese food to me. How can you tell the difference based on the smell? Billy, that's racist. How's that racist? They have some more cuisine. I'm just messing with you. You're really making me question the decisions I've made in life. <laughs> sure. Is that one locked? Really not oh. You can get an achievement so easily again. I just thought I was impressing it, okay? Maybe not an achievement, but you got the corporate egg. Okay. You know what? Since you said that, I'm just gonna annoy you and try and get an achievement now. Okay. It's locked. Why would they lock- Why would they lock the door? I don't know, Cliff. Er- I don't know, Cliff. Maybe because they don't want four total strangers walking in on them. That's an oddly specific motive. Jack, why? Just why? Because cookies are delicious. That just some- this is it up. You're really weird. Like content provider, like subscriber. <laughs> There's a little sign on the door. Looks like a legally binding con contract. Weird. I'm this room and you agree to blah blah blah. Wait, what? Wave all rights to photographs taken of you in this room with or without your per knowledge or permission. Oh, so it's basically like going to a convention. You know hypopotamus claws? What happens at PAX stays at PAX. That's why I never go to PAX. And hey, maybe in some time in the future. I have got to go to some of these conventions. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. I did a thing. Wait. HP. Why do they have- <laughs> Okay, Billy Loki just has Jack's a IQ is 1. Billy's IQ is 3. Her IQ is 3. Darn, I forgot her name. Oops. And Cliff's IQ is 6. Something. Might have a Q in it, I don't know. I mean, is this referring to hacker on your computer or the boss of this company? The boss. The boss. 
What if it's the same person? What if it's a mob boss? What if he set the virus mafia on you? I'm pretty sure there's no such thing. Okay, I remember her name is Jenny now. There's no such thing as the virus mafia. Arteris, my god, man, it's too near a computer! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, I don't want to exp Again, I don't want to explore too much. Okay, I can't go in here. Oh no, that computer's like glowing, so I might as well check it out. Oh, I can't. Cross mobilization, it doesn't even have text to speech! Way to make us feel old, Billy. <laughs> I can't check this out, is that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but text to speech is nice, like. It would, like, because, like, I, as much as I like doing voices, like, it's just, you know, uh, I mean, my voices for Delta Rune were at least easier. A door. As far as go, this one is adorable. Why do you t enjoy tormenting me so? Don't be so selfish, Billy. Anyways, played Happy Wheels enjoys tormenting you. True. I mean, I've never played Happy Wheels yet. I mean, I played it, like, in my free time, but I've never done it on the channel. The store is made of balsa wood. I could probably punch right through it. It was locked for a reason, so I won't. What's your deal with locked doors? Well, in horror games, locked doors usually hide, well, horrors. Oh yeah, because the Stanley Parable is one of the great horror games of our generation! Okay, Billy. It's eerily quiet in there. I guess whatever's in there is dormant. Why must you hurt me in this way? Because hurting you in other ways would cause your game to become pl unplayably corrupted. Come on, Billy, it's common knowledge. Read the law of death permanent <laughs> sometime. I told you all that! Jack, I think you're raising his digital blood pressure. Because his blood will splatter further. Oh, gosh. Hey, Jack, it's you! Why is it me? Because you're a dork. Oh. Because you're a dork! Okay, well, I'm not coming up... I'm not good at coming up with stuff on the fly. It's okay, Billy. In these in the sort of things, patience is key. Hey. <laughs> uh. When faced with the impossibly grandiose decision of which way to go, not Stanley chose the red door on the left. So which way should we go, red or blue? I feel like this is a test of our personalities. Yeah, I come to think of it, even though I just went through a death-defying situation with all of you, I don't feel like I really know you all that well. Well, to be honest, we haven't really had any spare time to talk either. It's just kind of been one th from one thing to another. Hmm, we should change that. Well, first we should probably pick a door. I remember on Game Theory that, psychologically, the color red is associated with comp competition action, whereas blue would be more associated with intuition and puzzles. So we're either going to be shot to death or be destroyed in a game of chess. I th think it has something more to do with personalities. You know what? Never mind. Wouldn't it make more sense for this to be about obeying versus disobeying? I know! See, that was my first thought originally. And since I was originally going to say, Okay, you know, let's go for the blue door. But the game's like, okay, sure. Um, But there's this whole thing of dialogue, too. So, yeah, it's because the narrator was just low-key being annoying. <laughs> to me and changing our names and all that stuff. I don't know. Why is my foot sweating also? I went to scratch it, which is why I tilted my head back like that. And yeah, I do not know why. Told us to... It's like a cold sweat, though. Go through the red door. Wouldn't it be more of a challenge not to go through the red door? Maybe you should have told us to go through the blue door. Well, it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know of the narrator. He is... Is he the sort of man who would put the bad ending behind the door he endorses or the door... No, he doesn't. Now, a clever man put an ending behind the door he doesn't endorse. Because, <laughs> that's a pun. Because he would know that only a great fool would do what they were told by a disembodied narrator. We are not great fools, so we clearly cannot choose to go through the blue door. But we must have known we are not great fools. He would have counted on it, so we can clearly not choose the red door. So it's still 50-50 either way. I guess we can flip a coin. Let's pick one at random. Oh gosh, game is actually giving me a choice here. Um, let's not mess up. Um, red is my favorite color, and I, <clears throat> since he did tell us, but oh, I don't know. 
<laughs> funny enough, those colors are the colors of Dexter, funny enough. My channel mascot. But, um... Dang it. Crap, I don't know which one. I really want to pick red, but puzzles... Well, let, what Jenny said before, Pat, like, it, competition, puzzles kind of goes more with me. Because I'm not a person who into, like, into, like, leagues or stuff, so we'll go through the blue door. I don't know. Plus, for, I, for the other reason, too, like, personality. I mean, for disobeying him, because he was just being annoying in general. And so obviously. not Stanley arrived at the not meeting room employee lounge, complete with ugly blue carpet and broken soda machine. He ate two dollars and fifty cents. I was just trying to get a Coke! Yeah, I know. So stuff like that. Sharon, how did you get a Coke? Well, she was broken! What do you mean use a credit card? <laughs> Not in this country, Sharon! It's official! He's cracked! Thanks for the amount of confidence, Billy. Ooh, coffee. Nope, we can't eat the coffee, apparently. Oh, or drink the coffee, I mean. So we're just moving... Not what? Stanley triumphantly blundered into his boss's office to find that no one was there. Now he could play with his boss's secret keypad, but he'd never know that the combination was 7326. Oh, not Stanley. The boss's office looks really different than, it, it, than the original game. I guess someone who was in here last did some interior decorating. It looks different than last time I was here, too. I wonder if it merged or something. Like what? It kind of looks like your recording room. Yeah, it does. Oh, uh, well. Oh, well, maybe it happened when the apartment came here. Maybe it did. Weird. Huh. Oh, no. 7326, right? Oh. Let's just go... Me at the code, let's not check anything. Seven, wait, three, two, six. Yep. Is anyone wondering if there's something kind of weird going on? What's the music? No, of course not. Everyone gets stuck in their computer at least once. It's practically mundane! I'm not the narrator. Well, it doesn't sound like, really sound like the narrator from my copy of the game. Mine well, either. Maybe it's an imposter. Okay, do we really need to start coming with conspiracy theories? I'm just saying he's acting kind of weird. I'm, I guess I'm mostly concerned with why the boss's office looks so much like yours. Because it's the boss, like, Jack or something? Yeah, that is weird. I wonder if it has something to do with this boss guy who was preventing me from getting off us all back. Oh, oh, I got it. Maybe it's you. Um, I'm pretty sure I'd remember sabotaging myself. No, no, hear me out. Okay, so maybe you're gonna end up in Oxenfree, right? And you'll bang your head, and go evil, and then go back in time to sabotage your past self. Can we all just evaporate? Okay, okay, but that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for... <laughs> Thank I was gonna say thanks for watching. Gosh darn it, Billy. Alright, can we run? Yep. da 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 what was this? And finally, not Stanley found himself in a truly terrifying and chilling place. That's a lot of numbers. A cavernous chamber, filled to the brim with television monitors, upon which bearing the numbers of all the employees, and not Stanley being one of them. What's my number? Six, six, six. He was shocked, not slightly embarrassed, but altogether the mysteries were beginning to build and compound to one satisfying. Grandiose conclusion. I'm not getting anything right now. Why do we stop here? I don't know, maybe the press buttons. Do you need do you do everything without thinking it through first? No, I think a lot of things through. Like very seriously, like naming you, Billy. You did that off the cuff. Well, what else do you think we need to do in this room? Actually I think Jack might be right. You might as well press the, those buttons and see what happens. Right? It's not a nice bun sound. That's like a, that's like um, what's it? Like a smoke detector beeping. So now what? Wait, one of them's red. Employee not found. Four o four. Huh. 
There's something familiar about that number, but I can't put my thing. What? What's going on? Why? Why can't I do anything else? Where are you next? Activate over here, guys. I guess. I think I saw a hidden button there and that we might have activated. Who knows? Alright. I don't know, I can't do the noise. So, is anyone hungry? No, not really. Exactly! It's so weird not to get hungry anymore. Is that why you've been talking about food this entire time? I don't think I have noticed. I was trying to remember a time where I had the comfort of eating delicious food, like cookies and cakes and chips. Sounds like my kind of meal. So, therefore, you are getting hungry? Question mark. No, I miss being hungry. Why do you have to bring it up, Cliff? I was happy not noticing. So, are you hungry or not? I'm I'm severely confused. Oh, this happened to do a thing. And I don't know. Oh, I can't go back either. All right. I wonder what's over that way. So I saw one of these, there was definitely a good reason for it being blocked off. Well, that just gives us more incentive to find out what's out there. I don't think running into the danger is the best idea. Maybe it'll open up later on. Why is Jenny smarter than everyone here? Oh, uh, gosh, I wouldn't say that. Don't pursue yourself down, Jenny. I'm glad you're part of... Po posse Eptic Eye. I don't know. Oh, thanks, Jack. So if we're done being all sweet and friendly, can we get back to the story? Okay. Jeez, Billy. Mind control facility. The mind control facility <laughs> is too horrible for not standing to comprehend. Have he really been controlled this entire time? All his thoughts, his actions? Wait. Oh, that's very meta. Oh, there are buttons. Oh, I hate this. It's a puzzle. Oh, I should've gone with the red door, dang it! Why'd you have to make me use my mind game? Oh wait, can I just go up here? I'm controlling it. Some power. Not on. Stanley didn't have to worry about the on button. Not Stanley didn't have to worry about the on button because it was broken. Lovely. And he did it. Somehow, against all possible odds and expectations, not Stanley has freed everyone. Hmm? It was a joyous, exuberant, a classical example of a hero done well. Everyone would be free. No one would be told what to do, what to think, or where to go. No one would have to pretend to be a narrator after being fired unfairly for something they didn't even do. And our hero, not Stanley, bravely and proudly basking in the glow of whatever he did that freed everyone. Well, he knew where he was going. He was off on another bright adventure. What new mysteries of joy and wonder would await him Beyond that glowing door! Mm. Oh, no, come on! That was a beautiful story. I don't want to have to do it again for not Stanley, who won't appreciate it. Why can't I get someone who appreciates my stories? Now we have to do it all over again. And it won't even be the same story because you're just going to pick something else. Oh, what would the narrator say? It would be so angry now. Let's go in the other door. Let's push something else. Let's lock ourselves in the closet. What will he say? What will he... <laughs> <laughs> Curious as to what happened, not Stanley left his office. I am very confused. Oh, no. Do you try to contain all the insight? Excitement. Blah. I got your growling coming from there. I think we didn't look at any of the boxes, huh? I should have saved, but okay. There better be a save point around here, I'm gonna be mad. I don't know this one. A door! Oh. So now I have to pick something else, basically. Not Stanley and his co-workers. Wait a minute, no, this really can't be right. I mean, I know we're going off the cuff as it is, 
what with the renewed stage after the freedom ending, but you really cannot go anywhere if the stops aren't open. Yeah. I'm going to have to look into this. Hold on. Oh, good. More Portal. Time. Crap. What's that? Who are you? No need to play dumb and bully 207. They ought to know what you've been up to this entire time. But I'm the narrator! You sound like Jay from Lemon Light Productions. Oh, I... Sh well, whatever. That wasn't even a nice try. You don't sound anything like the narrator. More like a sound-alike who's auditioning for Saturday Night Live. That's true, to be honest. Oh, no, that was uncalled for. But I really must thank you. You've brought me more test subjects, like I've asked for. So I suppose you Is this GLaDOS? Something. You might want to introduce yourself, though. Seeing as you're going to be working with them more, it's best for them to get to know the real you. I... Yeah, you, you know what, she's right. I'm not actually the narrator. Surprise. <laughs> Shocking, I know. <laughs> and you're not actually getting out of here. GLaDOS and I have teamed up to find and test subjects for the future of Aperture Science. Or the present. Seeing as we currently have no one to run through these tests, we're not too picky. Despite your obvious lack of intelligence, we are required to use what we have. So congratulations, you're all at the top of your group. By default. Ah. She really needs to work on her motivational speeches. Anyway, I don't think we should spend too long out here. While there is no discernible passage of time here in the digital world, we do need to get a move on. The average human lifespan is a pathetically short 70 years or so. Even shorter in Billy's case. Well, I mean, he does respawn, so I would think that actually makes his lifespan a bit, a lot longer. Oh, I like her. She shows potential. Actual potential. Not the kind that leaves you high and dry, having been overrun by a wave of disappointment. That being the case, I have exactly the teams that we need. For what? We only have two functional tests at the moment. But I see now how to divide you up perfectly. Okay. Wait a minute, hold on! Boss is never the boss. Never the boss is loading. The boss is... Oh gosh, what did I do? You... Do you just separate us using a loading screen? Rude. I suppose we could record how long it takes you to go insane listening to this song. But that would be needlessly cruel. It would be more humane to throw you in the incinerator just outside the door. Uh, please don't. I've never tested anyone before. This should be fun. Okay, who even are you? I've never seen an employee 207 in any of my games, as far as I can remember. You have seen me. But I guess you don't remember. I mean, you've killed me, though. Wait a minute, I've killed you? Then what game are you from? I guess it's kind of hard to remember someone who's just one in a crowd. Party oh. hard? All I was doing was partying innocently, and then you murdered me. Or at least, you did when you finally noticed me. Huh. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but I mean, that is kind of the point of the yeah. game. Yeah, it is. And yes, I know I'm supposed to die. It's a small roll, but it's something. And all I wanted was for my roll to go off without a hitch. But you almost didn't notice me in the tutorial level. It's a small roll that I wanted to do right, and you almost messed it up. So you're taking all this out on me because I almost didn't kill you? No. That sounds like going turbo. <laughs> Wreck it Ralph reference, nice. Nope. Never mind, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. I went to work for Aperture Science. Met a man named Stanley, boring guy. Long story short, I got fired for something I didn't even do. Lovely. But I managed to lure the narrator away with a cookie. <laughs> Wait, you n lured the narrator with a cookie? Never underestimate the power of fake goods around video game characters, Jack. True that. <clears throat> yes, well, as exciting as all this exposition and reveal is, I'm sure you're going to want to get to the test. This room wasn't designed to last, you know. Fair enough. 
Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose where you come from, most rooms are permanent. This particular room was designed to be disposable, left standing only for about 30 minutes after its creation. Oh. We at Aperture figured that with the amount of test subjects we were going through, sanitation was an issue. It was more cost effective to create and destroy holding chambers when necessary, instead of sanitizing the old ones. Are you sure? Buttons for that. Perhaps. So Stanley worked for Aperture? Ooh boy, that explains a lot. Anyway, seeing as this room was created about 29 minutes ago, you should probably- <gasps> Oh shoot! Hold on, let me say first. Um, I wouldn't normally end it here, but... <laughs> I love the song in the game, but playing it through a poorly tuned radio kind of ruins the effect. Yeah, I agree it was. It's ridiculous. I can't... I want to get through the portal first. Welcome to the Friction Inhibition Gel Test, or the Fig Test, as some presumed clever scientists have called it. Let me guess, lots of fruit puns came out of that, right? That's too easy. These jo those jokes are all low-hanging fruit. I will be sure to make a note in your file. Oh boy, what did I do wrong? Are jokes not allowed? Um, you aren't in trouble. I was just going to note that you believed you were clever. It's honestly kind of charming whenever the test subjects assume that they have the necessary wit to complete the tests. But we'll see how well that wit serves you here. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> yeah. The cube you are pushing around is the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube. Ha! Huh. This cube has been coated with the complementary fake agent. Hence why you two won't slide on the floor, and will accompany you on your journey through this puzzle, serving as your beloved and faithful companion. See to it that you do not break its fragile cute heart. I will try my very best. I wasn't planning to, but okay. No, Jack, you see, this is how they get you. She's trying to emotionally manipulate you into believing that so you'll feel exactly the way she wants you to during this By the test. Way, I should inform you that due to emotional complications, the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube cannot come in contact with the Glacier White Testing Surface Square. It has also updated its online status. And it says that you are now officially its best friends. Aw. Don't let her manipulate you, Jack. I will be your beloved and faithful companion through this test. Tonkly, my heart wrongs to Taryn. Taryn, I guess. Oh, your girlfriend? Well, that's kind of a strong word. She's a girl, and she's my friend. But, and I really like her, but she's not my girlfriend. I see. Well, maybe someday? Provided she hasn't overlooked him for another handsome specimen. Aww. Then again, I'm honestly surprised that anyone would find either of you two viable candidates for coupleship. Oh, that's sad. I'm going to ignore that. Yep, just gonna ignore that. I think Cliff's pretty lit, so... What's this do? Well, just remember that in life, there are no such things as resets. We here at Aperture Science are a little more forgiving. Here. Actually, I'll have OBS up and while I have the game so I can keep track of the time, because I think we're going a bit overboard on time, but... It, it'll be worth it. We don't talk about Dave. He was a... <laughs> Freaking Dave! <laughs> I'm going to head off and see how the others are doing. Alright. Hey, wait! And he's gone. Hope Jenny and Billy are alright. Oh, okay. It's like a... Ah! Wait. Wait, what happens if it does touch the cube? Oh, I can't. Oh, so we can't make it do that. So. Ah. Well, this is a thing. Oh, so we have to... I see where we have to get to. Okay, so this, this reminds me of like the puzzles in Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, you know, Pokemon games. For you people who don't care about that kind of thing. But yeah, I like them. Congratulations. It seems you defied the odds and completed this puzzle. Your audience of one was on the edge of his seat the entire time. I mean... Wait, me? Or, like... If you're referencing me, that's very meta. That actually scared me for a second. But, I mean, I guess my audience is more than one. Unless you're trying to roast me and saying that I get no views, but okay. What's that? Listen, you can even hear his voice trembling from the adrenaline. Oh, no, I was just running. I had to check up on the others since you're over here. He's delirious with happiness for you. 
Okay, now what? Push the button nearest the door, and you may leave. Though leaving comes at the price of sacrificing one of your party members. Oh, great. Say what? Push the button and drop the cube into the incinerator. Oh, jeez. I would say that terseness and elegance were never so delicately woven together as in your statement just now. Well, buy companion cube. And it's not nice to lie. But he is right. In order to continue, you will need to sacrifice the Aperture Science weighted companion. Gosh darn it. Well, done done. Let's just cliff everything you've done for a slow cube. I'm going to really miss you. Please don't hold this against us. It's, it's just imagine like that sad like, uh, like flute music plays. Cliff, you said you just said earlier this is her manipulating how we feel. Well, oh, oh, right. Oh, whoops. You really are morons, aren't you? I don't know. Call us what you like. I suppose. We still finished your puzzle. Well then, proceed to the next room. I'll be with you shortly, seeing as the other team may be about to finish their puzzle. Interesting. What happens after that? More testing. Try not to let the newness and excitement wear off just yet. It makes the ears more bearable. Ah. Ears? Okay. Watch that first step. It's a doozy. Oh, I didn't think I could actually do that. I didn't think the game would actually let me do that, jeez. Well, if I'd have known that you were going to throw yourself in there anyway, I would have let you buy <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. I just thought, nah, the game's not going to pull that stuff, is it? Yup, it, it was. Great. Earlier. I'm not seeing Leo. That's her first priority now. I know, but Jack and Cliff, I'm really worried about them. Them too, but you think they'd be a little more resilient? I mean, do we have to go find those two jokers, really? Why do we keep getting separated? Are you really that disappointed to be stuck with me? Hey King, everyone I could have been stuck with, it was you, the least annoying person. Thanks. Oh, I'll see, it really is a relief. Uh, yeah. To be fair. Well, yeah, I, I guess. Unless you would like to call out sick. I would not recommend this. However, in the event that you do forfeit on account of illness, we have a pharmaceutical test we are running. Ah, okay. So far, the known side effects have included, but are not limited to, and death, pain and weakness, headache, loss of vision, loss of hearing, loss of vision and hearing, minor internal bleeding, major internal hemorrhaging, growth of a third nostril, interesting, constipation. Lovely. Aneurysm, Ebola, swine flu, Ebola and swine flu, and in 43% of the cases, instantaneous yet painless death. I mean, Any not that bad. <laughs> I could name a handful of things all of this that I've never experienced before. Pass. Good. Then I think you'll like what I have in store for you just outside that portal. Why don't you take a look? I mean, I will, but I guess we'll have to wait till next episode, because we're kind of cutting it close right here, guys, so. Anyways, I've actually had fun with this episode. It's been fun, so we'll get to it We'll get to it next episode, which I hope to release again, or make, or record this weekend, and et cetera, et cetera, but I have more videos to do, so I'll be trying to get out. But anyways, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you did, please spam the thumbs up with your thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe to me for some more awesome daily content and share this video with everyone you know turn on notifications so that way you don't miss anything by me and like all my videos live streams etc etc and i'll see you guys later bye